Hi, I'm going to show you how to do a uh, word search in the original language in which the Bible was written, either Hebrew or Greek, very simply and quickly using my favorite tool, Blue Letter Bible. To get to Blue Letter Bible, um, I'm just going to do a Google search for it. Uh, the direct web address is blueletterbible.org. It's a very easy to use tool. Once uh, we come to the website, I'm going to go ahead and type in whatever verse of scripture I'm looking at. In this case, I'm going to do Matthew 7 7. And uh, I can select the version uh, that I want. I'll just let you know, though, that the King James Version is the easiest way to get to the original Hebrew and Greek. So I'm going to leave it set to King James, click on search, and we'll bring up the passage. Now um, you'll see these numbers located next to each word, and these are the Strong's Concordance numbers. Now those aren't turned on by default. If you go up to the very top, um, you'll see a, a box that says Show Strong's Numbers. And if that's not turned on, you want to select it, and then go back down to whatever passage you're interested in. Now I can begin to look at the original, in this case, Greek language. So the first word is ask, the English word is ask. But if I want to know, okay, what does that really mean in Greek? If I click on the number, it will pull up the um, page for this word. Now we can see here, the original Greek um, means to ask, beg, call, crave, desire, require. And that's a little bit more specific and um, interesting than just the generic English word ask. So really when this word is being used in this passage, it's not just to say, you know, ask, hey, will you come over? It's, it's a very deep, um, desperate cry, which gives a, a much more um, rich meaning to that word. So let's go ahead and look at another one. Let's look at the word seek. So ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. So again, the word seek has uh, several different meanings, but again, it's a very um, deep longing or desire to crave, um, to meditate, to reason. So um, by looking up the original Greek, you can get a much more accurate picture of what the original author was trying to convey and how those words have been translated into the English language.